I was just stunned. Um, I mean, I did this as an interesting experiment. I, I'd never really thought about detecting it. I thought we'd get some interesting information, some limits on, on life and Venus. But yeah, it was stunning to actually see um, the absorption by the phosphine molecule turn up in our spectrum. The key to what we found is the presence of phosphine gas in the clouds of Venus. This is very unexpected because phosphine is a phosphorus atom and three hydrogen atoms and there's really very little hydrogen available um, in the atmosphere. So we think something is um, a process that's making it and one of the possibilities is it's small floating organisms. And the reason we think that is because there are small bacteria on Earth that do actually make phosphine. We're talking, if they're there, um, I think probably single-celled organisms, but they'd um, probably be pretty different to something on Earth. Um, they might perhaps need to surround themselves by um, some kind of thick shell like sulfur to defend themselves against the actual sulfuric acid. So there might not be something we'd um, recognise very easily. But um, there's some evidence that there are particles that are about a micron, um, a millionth of a meter in size floating around um, in Venus atmosphere. And that is about the size of microbes. So nobody knows exactly what those particles are, but it might tie in with this work um, that other people have done previously.